welcome to season six episode three i hope you enjoyed the last two episodes and i am sure you're going to enjoy this one too so today we're going to show you a new development that's going to be exclusive to ideal homes sash is going to explain all the details about it and tell you about the discounts and things like that and me and john we're going to show you the location we're going to show you what's within six minutes of either it. side of it it's we know the developer we know what he builds we know everything about him but we want to also not to just tell you about the development, but also where he exactly is and what is around because yeah. there is so much and it's different everywhere there. Yeah, you'll see it's a fantastic location because you've got everything more or less on your doorstep. Yes, exactly. There's also other things that we haven't shown, like there's the aerodrome, you can skydive. Yeah. Um, there's also the Formula Race, One, the race, the race track, track, and they're going to be having Formula Ones there. Oh, definitely, and, and actually at the moment, I just saw the signs for the Moto Grand Prix. That's yeah. there now. Yeah. So, lots to the racetrack. Um, as you say, the skydiving, and we were there, there. We've seen them coming in, and yeah. so you fancy yeah. skydiving, you can try that. And before you ask, I've tried to get her to do it, but unfortunately, it's a no. Maybe one day. Yeah. Um, Ferragoda, very close. I love Ferragoda. Yeah. I love Ferragoda. Mm. It's a beautiful little place lovely beach and there's a restaurant there i'll mention it club now in june they have like jazz festivals and it is just something special there yep and also there's lagos not far away as well well lagos you can see from Alvo. yeah 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 so, so you'll see it we're going to show it you now and keep watching because afterwards we're going to have the team round and john's going to cook them chicken chi puri puri from the puri puri from last week that we bought John's going to cook it. So will it be burnt? Will it be underdone? Or will it be perfect? <laughs> mm. And the team will tell me. I'm sure yeah, they I'm will. Yeah, I'm sure they yeah. will. I'm yeah. sure they will. Mm. Um, I'm sure you'll do a really, really good job, John. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> um, we haven't got him a pin, eh? But yeah. my, maybe we'll get him an oven glove so he doesn't burn his fingers. Hi there, this is uh, Sasha Sharpley from Ideal Homes Portugal and I just want to talk to you about a new project we've launched called the Olivier Condominiums which is uh, about a five minute drive uh, from the centre of Portimao and a five minute drive from the historic uh, village of Alvor. Um, it's basically composed of two sets of apartments, eight in each, eight in each building plus a pool um, the apartments are mostly three-bedroom apartments, but there are some two-bedroom apartments as well. The two-bedroom apartments come with one underground car parking space. The three bedrooms come with two uh, car parking spaces. There's also a roof terrace. Uh, it's also coming with a gymnasium. And this is being built by uh, one of the key developers in Lagos, uh, who built Santa Maria 1 and is currently building Santa Maria 2. So uh, everything is going to be very high end, uh, modern contemporary. Uh, the three bedroom apartments are around 140, 150 square meters internally and 60, 70 square meters of outside terraces. So very large outside terraces. We have a few two bedrooms as well and they're a little bit smaller. Um, it's going to be a very very nice development. We are, have already taken some reservations and there are still some units left. Prices range for the two bedrooms from 420,000 up to the penthouses three bedrooms just under 700,000, 696,000. But for a limited time only, we're going to be offering a 10% discount on all those units. If you are interested in uh, proceeding further, you can reserve a unit with 6,000 euros. And then after the due diligence and the preparation of the contract, you would need to put down a 30% deposit. And the build time is roughly two years. Um, and so you then pay the balance uh, at the end of that time. Um, 
Um, in terms of the area itself, I mean, it's a fantastic area. It's a, it's a very nice environment here, lots of green zones. You're uh, only sort of a five minute drive from the oldest golf course in the Algarve, Penina. Uh, in terms of getting to the airport, you're only about a 40 minute drive uh, to the airport itself. You've got the aerodrome here. So if you want, if you're really an adventurous type and you want to do skydiving, you can do that at the aerodrome. You're only about a 15, 20 minute, 20 minute drive from um, a racing track. F1 was here last year and the year before. So there's a lot going on. Uh, Portimao itself has got uh, everything that you can conceivably want uh, in a town with a marina and a port and theater and football stadium and restaurants and cafes and so on. Alvor itself is a fantastic fishing village. It's very, very popular, right by the beach as well. Lots of really nice restaurants and, and cafes and cobbled streets and so on. So, um, if you want to know more, then please contact us and we'll talk to you a little bit about, uh, you know, how you can reserve a unit. Um, anyway, in the meantime, uh, John and Angela are going to talk to you a little bit about exactly what Portimao and Alvo have to offer. Here I am in the heart of the old town, Alvo. It's a really beautiful, beautiful old town. It's got lots going on. Right now it's the morning, early morning, and everybody's out having coffee and the breakfast. And even now there's a buzz. As the day goes on, you'll get to the lunchtime people, and that's when it'll all start getting busier and busier. And then as we go into the evening, the bars start with the music, and everybody's like lively and party mood, and it's it's really, really good fun place to be. Um, if we walk down this hill here, we go down to the sea and then there are all the seafood restaurants down there, fresh seafood brought in on the boats. Uh, it, it's absolutely great, especially for a holiday. I think it's a very good holiday place. And we have lots of clients actually that once they've been to Alvo, they always say, I don't want to buy anywhere else. I want to be in Alvo. So a great location and something that's really good to be close to so that you can hop in and out of it very easily. Anyway, let's see what John's got and see what he's found somewhere else also close to these apartments. Well, thank you, Angela, for that. Where am I now? I'm in the epicentre of the Western Algarve on a retail park and a shopping mall. Now, the shopping mall is called Aqua. It's a covered area. You've got every type of store in there for fashion, for shoes, handbags. So if ladies, if you like retail therapy, that's the place for you. But the retail part also stores things like decathlon for sports goods. You've got uh, DIYs, you've got a blast from the past, CNAs. You've even got the British Overseas Supermarket. So if you're needing something from the UK, you can't find in Portugal, you can go in there. It's got a Burger King, it's got DIY stores, as I said, it's got everything here. So this is all on your doorstep in Portimao. So very close to the development. If you also like some peace and tranquility uh, in your life when you're on holiday or whether you're living here, well this is really, really close to town. Towns are only just there, walking distance. And this brings you to a boardwalk that goes all the way around and it takes you to a beach that's a quieter beach than what the, the other one is at the other side. So lovely, lovely puddles of water amongst all these sand dunes. It's a really, really nice place to be. It feels peaceful and there's beach bars just close by as well. So if you fancy it, a little refreshment while you're going round, you can call in there. And also we've got all the boats at the side, the little fishermen boats, which I always love to see. I think it's a real part of Portugal that. And uh, now I think we'll go over to John and see if John can show us something else very similar in the area that he's in right now. Well, thank you, Angela, for that. Um, today, I'm here in Portimao, very close to the development. It's literally six minutes away from here. Portimao is a thriving city, town, city, but it's got famous for the river. This promenade goes for miles, and it literally you can walk for miles on here, even the cruises. The cruise ships come in here. You can book your ferry trips out. You can put your fishing boats. You can go out in the fishing and go around the coves. It's got so much to offer. And Portimao also has things like great food. If you've never experienced the sardines in Portugal, you have to try them in Portimao. They serve it on the bread and 
they are somehow different to anywhere else. So check out the Portimao for sardines, but they've also got amazing fish, amazing meats, all sorts of food. So this is a place that I love. I personally do love Portimao, and it's a place I'm sure you will love. So back to you, Angela. And the beach here in Alvo is absolutely amazing. So you've got a massive stretch all the way along of white sand. It is an absolute stunning beach. If you like the cliffs that you see a lot in the Algarve, at that end you have got them. Then at this end you go to a quiet beach where the, t the, the chairs aren't so there's not as many people around. Um, so if you like to be quiet and on your own, that's the place to be. You tend to get your restaurants and, and things like that where the sun chairs are so obviously you won't be as close to them. But then once you get round the pier that you can see at the end there, then it goes to Maya Praia Beach, which is Largosh. So you're very close to Largosh as well. Um, so Alvor as a location to have on your doorstep is absolutely amazing. It has everything that, that you need when you're either on holiday or, or you're actually living here. So let's now go over to John and see what John's found, uh, what you can do beach-wise over in Portimao. Well, thank you, Angela, for that. Oh, fabulous beach. And what about this beach? If you want an even bigger beach, this is Praia de Rocha, which is a part of Portimao, and it has an amazing beach. But it also has nightlife, amazing restaurants. At night time, they all come alive, but they're all alive in the day. And the other thing about Praia de Rocha is you also have international stars that come here for pop concerts. They are always building stages on the beach here, as they are doing right now. So if you like a bit of jazz, any type of music, watch this. Praia de Rocha is great. There's you, Marina, another part of Portimao. So, what's there not to like here? Finally, I'm cooking my chicken piri piri. Now, we've got our local piri piri from Mata de Vista, a very local restaurant from here you saw in the previous series. Piri piri is just chilies. You can have it hot, medium, or mild. You basically cut the chicken up. You cut it into small pieces. You put it on your barbecue, leave it in marinating for a couple of hours in the fridge, in the piri piri, and make sure your barbecue, and this is my secret, you have to make sure the piri piri goes on hot coals, grey coals, no flames. It is important to be patient and wait. Today I'm cooking it my way on the barbecue, but Andy, my co-chef, is inside. He's also cooking it in the oven, because we've got the whole team here today. I've only got a small barbecue, so there's one lot cooked on the barbecue, and two more chickens are coming out of the oven. So, very simple, very easy thing to do. Chop the chicken up, marinate it, put it on your hot coals, remember, and then you sit back and watch your guests. All the team here today are here to try it. Hopefully I don't give them food poisoning, but let's see, I'll carry on cooking. Foods ready. Voila! <laughs> it looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Join us, Series 6, Episode 4, next week I'll be showing you this particular villa. New listing with Ideal Homes in Lule, refurbed, four bedrooms, detached with beautiful gardens. And I'll also be showing you another one very close by. So don't miss out next week 
Thursday at five o'clock. So we had a really, really lovely time with the team, didn't we? It's been a long day. Uh, yeah. And I will say, John, you did well with that chicken. You did very well. I think you looked the part. I don't know about well. looking the part. It was the glove that did it. It was the, the glove. One yeah. yeah. I think you did a great uh, thing. And I think the team really, really enjoyed it and they had a good laugh. And also, let's talk about what else there is around this development. Well, we've got, I mean, there are things we've showed you today, but there's the skydiving. Yep, yeah, there if is. If you're into skydiving, amazing, you can try skydiving there. I'm not, but yeah. yeah. You've got the Motor Grand Prix, you've got the Grand Prix track, so yeah. they've got the Grand, uh, Formula One goes there, Motor Grand Prix is on there now, there's all sorts of track days up there. And that encourages a lot of rentals as well to yes. that area. Yeah. So, yeah, so there's a lot, there's golf around there as well, a lot Penina, of golfers go and stay Penina, in Alvor. Amazing Panina yeah. golf course, uh, Henry Cotton, so mm. we've got that. Um, there's loads of things to do. Lagos is not far away. We can stand in Alvor where we went today and we can look across and just see Lagos. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. So yeah, so it's it, they, this property is uh, it's a great property. The the quality of here is, is going to be great. But the location is so central to so many things. There's not many places that you can buy that has got absolutely all that on the doorstep. Well, what I look at it, it's got like three. It's in one place, but it's in three places because you've got three places that are completely different, offer completely different things. Beaches are different. Um, food's different as well but you're in amongst all that yeah. do you know what i always say um is i when i first came to portugal i actually lived at, at the beach mm. I, I was walking distance to the beach and i went to that beach every day i then moved out into the country and now when i go to the beach i go to so different many beaches. different beaches yeah and it is about sometimes you just need to pull back a little bit and you explore more if you want a long sandy beach, we've got them. Yeah. But you've got coves. Yeah. And like, look like, you know, little, the boat tours go in and out of the caves and grottos and things. And then we go to the east, it's different. But everywhere about the Algarve, the beaches are different. Yeah. Always. Yeah. yeah. So, you need to know more about this uh, development. There's still more for us to tell you. The team that were here today, they're the ones that are going to help you. They're going to show you all about it and help you purchase one of these. So get in touch with us, either me or John or info at idealhomesportugal.com, which will go through to the team. Mm. And we're waiting here now to take your reservations. There's not many units, so you need to get in there now. And what I submit is always subscribe. Press the subscribe button, then you'll be first to get the email updates. Share and like, obviously we like that. We're here to help, and the team's here to help you. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>